everybody. You can go home and uh, yeah. Um, is that Mark in the thumbnail? Dude, that's kind of weird. Something's going on here. There's a weird flickering going on on my screen. It's probably that 1984 computer you're using. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's dude, it's a Tandy. <laughs> I own a <laughs> It's a Tandy with an Apple IIe for the up close. I love Tandy. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah. Um Tandy. There's no shame in your game, Mark, so why don't we uh why don't we do the uh, shameless plugs? Stick it in my butt, Andy. Cuz I like my Tandy. <laughs> Mike, do you approve of us uh, doing shameless plugs? Uh, do whatever you want, brother. We're going to do it. It's been approved. Ignition. Pre ignition. Sickness. Tandy. I got a tandy. Your mama gives handies, but I got a tandy. song mark thank you have you ever been with a guy named randy uh not that i can remember all right we'll think about it and then we'll get back to this once we start the show oh i haven't started yet nope shut up (laughs) everybody in chat sing along Tandy. Tandy, your mom is nice. Tandy. <laughs> I haven't had a handy in forever. I'll let you suck on it for some candy. Mark's in a van with candy. Dan, I love that charger. Ignition. We are live. Live, 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 live. Yeah, Messed Thursday night. I didn't mess anything up. I choose how I do it. It's the vape team. The intro. All right, let's start over. No, it's the vape team. Welcome, everybody. This is uh, episode 190. Of the great team, yeah, it's the vape team. Thursday night, cloudy entertainment. With me as always, that's Stevie Wonder, looking son of a bitch in the red over there. Little boy red, Redzy, the red sled, drop dead red. Here we go, Mark, vaping, Fagan. I'm live. Can you please shut up? Thank Hi. you. Thank you. Also with us this evening, a gentleman from Greek heritage. Were you born in Greece, Mike? No. No. He has Greek heritage. He is uh I was made in the USA. Made a hundred percent made in the USA, inspired by familial ties to Greece. The Greek god of modern vaping, the king of Wick, Mr. Matchy Matchy, the matchstick man, Mikey motherfucking vapes. Good evening, Sid. Good evening. And we'd, Greg. Li- we'd like to start off the show by acknowledging Sid out there, so thank you, Sid. Good thank evening. You. <laughs> And yeah, Thursday night. Welcome. Welcome. Good evening. (laughs) Good evening. Um, I apologize. If I have to mute myself tonight, I apologize. I have a little bit of a cold, so I'm going to hopefully be able to mute myself and catch myself from coughing. Uh, But yeah, the show must go on and go on at will. So why don't we start off with a little bit of the buffet? Because everybody wants to know what everybody's vaping on. And... uh, do you guys want some transitional impact? Might as well it. fucking throw it up in a screen because we can't see it. 
you want to? Why don't you watch you my have screen? A dick going in and out of my mouth, and I won't even know because all I see is a Zoom room. Well, when you take dick every day, you don't even notice it anymore. It's just what you do. So let's do it. Here we go. I take it in the mouth from Andy. He puts it in my butt for some candy. <laughs> on my tandy. Uh. Your mom gives really good handies. Go ahead, Mark. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Uh, I think I'm vaping on the same shit that I was vaping on last week. Uh, we got this from um, Bigfoot. The Bigfoot from whatchamacallit? Wake with Mods. Wake Mods. There we go. Uh, that's the screen tank. There we go. We got the DV from Anakin. We got the Aspire something. Fruities. It's the whatchamacallit. Whatchamacallit, Fruity? Uh, Bob Ellis just gave $10 for a buffet ah. buster. That guy just gave $5 just to piss off Mark. Hashtag heavy hitter, Corona crew, vape wives, militia. Look at that fucking stomach. Like a six pack Dude, I, I got to be honest with you, Mark. It's not that bad. That looks like, like a keg. I'm forming a six pack right here. Or is stand, that like stand a... up, please. I think you're, no, it's like, like way better when I'm sitting. Yeah, if you lay it like on your back in bed, it might look really good. Wait a minute, we're getting uh, lots and lots of uh, donations here. <laughs> Tyler Rose for Mark's buffet, four ninety nine. David Humpston, two dollars. Thanks, Mark. Mike's turn. Uh, you know Greg, buffet's Gregory really Brown, uh, Mark, shut up! We're getting donations. <laughs> Chuck and Trucker, two dollars. Mark's gooch smells like moldy leather. <laughs> so there you go. Thank you. Go ahead, Mark. Continue. For those out there that actually care what I'm vaping on. Hold on a second. Wait a minute. False alarm. No False alarm. Donation. Go ahead. The dual top side with the uh, whatever, the BTFC, and then we got the still vaping on the Ramada, whatever the fuck it's called with the BTFC on top. And juices, same juices for the past two weeks. We got that shit, and we got that shit. Take it away, Brian. Four donations come in. Uh, Chris... Hold on. Boys there. Was there? Uh? Cutolio. Cutul Cut it's Cutulio. This interruption is brought to you by C. Boise to say Brian is awesome and I'm leaving my fiance because I'm in love with the top side. Oh. Whoa. And Alexa call 911. <clears throat> Alexa's gone, motherfucker. Did you guys break up? Did she? Leave? Mark's the only person that ever had Alexa leave him. <laughs> I got tired of calling 911. Uh, Joe Panici said $1.99. Hi, Mark. Vape and W is shady as fuck. Panici! So there you go. Isn't Vape and W... Um, hold on, Mark. Stop talking. We're getting money sent to us. Mitchell money. Tally Jr., $10. I don't mind the belly button, but the under boob is the money shot. Stop! We don't want the money! Well, I mean, you know, just wait till the end of the show to donate. Oh, go ahead. Donate. Fuck it. Yeah, why not? All right, so you guys are going to have to keep check and chat because I can't read and do two things at the same time. It's just not what happens. Do you guys remember when I had that eye infection because I touched my ass and then touched my eye? Yes. Touching your eye. The back? Yeah. I scratched my, my, my little brown ring, and then, and then I think I touched my eyeball by mistake like a small mm. child. Oh yeah. My God. It was fucking disgusting. It was a problem for a while there. I don't know why I was digging, but I got it taken care of. Anyway, I got the hermetic Wait, on top. Wait, isn't... Is it Mark Nadu's buffet? Oh, yeah, Mark, go ahead. Uh, take it away, Brian. All right, thank you. Uh, we got the uh, topside duel with the Hermetic. Hold on, we got a donation. Gregory Brown, I set the standard for Mark interruptions. $2. Thank you, you cross-eyed motherfucker. <laughs> he really <laughs> did. He started a trend that's ridiculous. He did. I thank him for that. So. Um, also, topside, recurve on top. Also... A spe very special mod, the Vape Team mod with the Goon 25 on top. Thank you, Mike, for this. It was a great gift. Romeo DeVia for Mark to shake it for daddy. <laughs> Hashtag show it. What does that say? Oh, look at those fucking... Dude, my tits have gotten bigger. What did that hashtag say? Am I fucking blind? Show it to me, Mark. Show it to me, Mark. There you go. Thank you, Mike. No, I think I actually have real tits. Yo, your like, side boob has weight. No. Like, they're hanging. Dude, I have female tits. Charlie, two dollars. Brittany Patrick needs a wrench. I need to start wearing a bra. I don't know why Brittany doesn't have a wrench. Why does Brittany not have a wrench? Hey there, Sid. Sid's in chat. Good evening, Sid. 
I already shouted you out. Donation, Stephen Eagles. Brian, what if I want you to cough in the mic? Also, Mark told me to pick up the <clears throat> color of the giveaway tonight. Pick it up. Know. Are there some cough uh, recommendations? As it's moving. Can I just looking? Can I announce the winners now? Just to, since we already got them pulled. No, oh, okay. I don't think so. Uh, <laughs> Stephen Eagles, uh, Brian. Oh, Mike already read it. <laughs> this is never going to. We're never getting through this. Do your buffet. Uh, am I doing that? Is that where I'm at? Yes. yes. Go. I don't know. Has anybody else just so I don't feel so alone? Has anybody ever gotten pink eye from the brown eye? You're going to get the black eye from the white hand. All right. Oh. <laughs> He's an abusive man. That's why. Where was I? Uh, no. No. This ain't going to happen. No. Bestia. Rebirth. Uh, what else? TVC Orion that Mike told me to use Scotch Bright to clean. Look at this. You guys can tell that I use this shit because... It's getting scratched. You got to take care of it. Um, Mike, will the Scotch Bright fuck up the TVC logo? Let's, no. Let, hey, let's, let's go. Mark, I run the show! <laughs> How about we cover the buffet and then you can ask Mike all, all the questions you want. Mike said no. Uh, Seth Sargent donating because I forgot to send Mark money to win a giveaway tonight. Oh, my God! Mark is behind lots and lots of secretive shit, by the way, guys. So if you want to win a giveaway, you grease his palms. You get it into his pocket, and you're definitely going to win. So, uh, 217 BTFC. There we go. And you know what? I don't fuck around. Galici, thank you. There we go. A little Galici action. Uh, the Anakin DV. I'm rocking on that tonight. This little spaceship looking thing. It looks like a lander in like uh, Mass Effect. Anyway. Uh, E-liquids, what am I vaping on? Well, definitely 50 milligram Nick salt. There you go, the nifty 50. Oh, that's 35. Look at that, 35. No wonder I'm fiending. I'm all this, worked up. I got some Apollo. This is a berry blends because I ran out of my regular 50, which is this from Dinner Lady. And, hmm. What else? Oh, and Deep Cut, Side B, Psycho Cruller. Boom. There you go. Who the fuck is a picture of the dude? Dude, that's vinyl and vapor. Mark, come back to Earth, please. Okay. Oh, yeah, on. you don't follow any advocacy stuff, so you wouldn't know who he is. There advocate. we go. Advocate. I follow people that advocate, so... I would like to physically pass the mic to Mikey motherfucking vapes. Go ahead. Uh, Doug Oliver, by the way, har sorry, Mike, uh, $1.99. I want to sit my taint on Mark's mouth. Woo. Wow, he's got some Damn, feelings son. for you. Yeah, that's... Wipe it first. Please wipe it. It's committed. He'll take it to the mouth, though, so just give it to him. Go ahead, Mike. Thank you. Alrighty. All right, let's do uh I finally fixed my dive down camera. I thought I fixed it. All right, that's not working right now. My bad. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, everything is unplugged. Chest hair millionaire, two dollars. Mike is secret savage, not a noble. Hashtag not a noble. By the way, if anyone donates to our Mike's buffet or my buffet, we're not gonna read them off. Whoa. <laughs> Padoma with the uh Falcon King. Look at that. I found the matching drip tip. Check that out. Is that got purple in it? Look at that. Look at that huh? mm. Matchy, matchy. Yeah, it's purple inside the woods. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. So, now vaping on that, I got some uh, juicy watermelon inside there. Inside there, uh, vaping on. Uh, oh, check this. Check out this beauty. What is that? Oh, baby, you. I got the Ardent, Ardent uh, RDA, Tenacious TX, White Dreamer, and I put the black cap, uh, what do you call it? The black bottom piece from the black mod on there with a little white and black hook up on that. A little bit, little bit of ebony and ivory. Oh, <laughs> yeah. It's like an Oreo. That's like double stuffed Oreo right there, extra cream in the middle, just like Mark likes it. Yeah. All right. Mark. Vaping on that. And inside there, we got some some skipper milk pie. Suck on your fingers, Mike. Yeah. <laughs> I'm also vaping on this. <laughs> oh, look at that. Dude, oh. he's got a clit tickler of a tongue. Look at him. I'm a professional. I used to be. Fucking A. 
Check it right there. We have top side. The rebirth. Mm. Inside there, we have a mixture of uh, blue pucker, which I threw the bottle out because I emptied it, and taffy splash mixed up inside there. Vaping on that. I'm also vaping on the Widowmaker RDA. We got the Widowmaker on the bankruptcy mod. And inside the Widowmaker, we are vaping on some drip fiends, some apricots stuff, and creamies inside there. Also vaping on this uh, new, this new new from uh, Dot Mod. This is their new uh, 100 watt squonker. It's got a chipset 21700. Top of it, we got the day one RDA. Inside there, we got some of that. Uh, what's that red stuff? Where is it? Taffy. No, licorice. No, not, taffy, not taffy. It's made by the same people that make this stuff. Skip them oh, car. Oh, there it is. The bottle is hiding behind something. Berry milk pie. Mm. Berry milk. Berry milk. Inside there. This is a pretty long buffet so far. It's beautiful. Not even, yeah, I haven't even, not even closed yet. <laughs> he hasn't gotten the pods yet. I haven't even started yet, baby. <gasps> we got a purple rebirth with the Vindicator. Inside the Vindicator, rebirth combo. We got some apple pie from Chop Shop Bakery. A little a bit of this stuff. Mm. Uh, I'm also vaping on the Bigfoot mod. Bigfoot. There we go. We got the Bigfoot, and I got it murdered out. And I got the Black Falcon on here, the Matt Black Falcon King. And there, we in here we got I think White Current. Yep, I got some of this stuff. Superb White Current inside there. I'm also vaping on the SQ. I'll be vaping on the rudder with the engine. You guys know the deal on that. But I got to show you guys this right here. Mm. Bam. Also be hitting off, if it'll focus, my Orion. Check that out. Wow. What? Does the Rebirth fit on the Orion? Hell yeah. I got the Rebirth RDA on the Orion right now. <laughs> Hell yeah. It came out fucking gorgeous. <sighs> Sexy. And uh, I do have another plate that he sent me. <laughs> I have this FU plates. These are the FUs. I'll be putting this. I'm, I might do a video maybe this weekend. We'll see. I'm going to do an install. Just to show people how to do the install on it. And uh, check this out. This is actually, he sent this to me for Phenom. Ooh, sweet. <laughs> <laughs> he made Rolex ones for Phenom. Dude, that's fucking hilarious. Yeah. But uh, yeah, if anybody interested in panels, uh, hit that juice.com. We got them in stock right now. We have Batman. I think it's called a Dark Knight one. We got the Joker. We got the Evil. And one more. What's the other one? God, there's one more. Anyway, there's four in total up on that website right now. But yeah, I'm going to do a video on installing the panels. I actually did a little uh, demonstration last night in a Zoom room, in heavy Zoom. There's a whole bunch of people in there. Where I did the install on this. Sweet. Did I get Can everything? Go? Oh, and one more pod I'm vaping on. Also, this one. I've been really enjoying this. This is the Flow from Asmodus. Mm. The Flow. And uh, a Cyberry inside here, Ghost Stick. And inside the Orion, I've got this, some of this stuff. Some Paradon, Nilla Killer, 12 milligram. Nice yeah. long buffet for all you guys. Where is Steve at? He's over there. You got some donations, Brian? Yeah. John Trincali uh, stated that, um, well, he said it, $1.99 donation. Thank you, by the way, John. But he said Mike's Buffet is sponsored by Figgin Industries. So there you go. I didn't know that, but it Thank is. You. Uh, Sean Kirkwood, $5. He said, you guys make Thursday great. Not good, but fucking great. So thank you very much, Sean. He said, hope to see all you guys in NVE. And yeah, all three of us are going to be at NVE. So. No. Yeah, we are. Mark's not going, he said. Mark's, Mark's still be there. You booked it? Angela's making me go now. Yeah. Nice. yeah. I get to smack you around. Are you going to be able to sit down and have breakfast with Patrick King? Yes, that's the first thing I have to do, actually. Yeah. Actually, if Patrick's watching, he actually told me that he was going to avoid you the whole weekend. That's what <laughs> that would be I'm, the best. I'm just being honest. Uh, <laughs> um, if, if anybody wants to see Mark, by the way, your best shot at getting a visual of him is on Saturday early because he's out within an hour. 
So Saturday early, hit it hard, hit it quick, and make sure you touch them and let them know who you are. Uh, $24.99 from Mary Ann Romero. $20. What's... You forgot her $1.99. Wait a <coughs> Hold on. <coughs> What's the best e-liquid to put in the red smoke pod you use, Brian? Love to vape. She also donated a dollar ninety nine early on, and uh, Michael Talley donated earlier. Thank you. <coughs> Who is the real hero of the show? Who is? Oh yeah. Uh, Brian doesn't notice the uh, donations if they're like under a hundred dollars, so you gotta forget. Them. That's bullshit. Um, she asked what the best e liquid to use. I guess she was talking about the Smoke Infinix because that's what I vaped forever. And I actually ordered some replacement Infinixes and they're coming from elementvape.com. I ordered them the other day. Um, it, it really depends on what your tolerance for nicotine is. Like, I vape three milligrams in my single coil RDAs, my dual coil RDAs. I, I like to vape warm though. So when it comes to my pods, I like 50 milligrams or 35 milligrams for Nick Salt. Um, some people don't like Nick Salt though. Like I know Mike and Mark like to use the uh, the Ghost Stick. Ghost at, Stick, baby. Yeah. So what's that? Twenty milligrams or nineteen? Uh, nineteen point five. Yeah, nineteen point five. So Ghost Stick from HitThatJuice.com is excellent if you like straight regular nicotine. If you like nicotine salt, every company has Nick Salts now, so you can choose whatever you want. And it really depends on what your tolerance is. I can tell you this. If you go too low, you're not going to be satisfied. But if you go too high, you're going to get heart palpitations and feel like you're you're going to feel a little bit woozy, maybe or a little dizzy. So it, it takes a little bit to find that sweet spot. So I want my two dollars. What movie was that? Did I we miss it. any donations, Mark? No, we didn't. But I want to know what the name of that movie was. It's an old movie. The little kid on his bike. I want my two dollars, and he flies off the cliff. Somebody just said, uh, vape and vague, and Brian is like Scrooge McDuck when it comes to money. <laughs> yep. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's, it's not true. <laughs> oh, well, signature tips in chat. What up, Jake? He's, He's in Bahrain right now. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, the vape event. I should have went. Thank you, guys. You were talking about it like a month ago, Mike. Dude, they were going to fly me there, and forget it. I'm an idiot. I don't know. I just 16 hour flight. You only fly first class, right? No, that's the thing. They don't want to pay for first class. I was like, I need first class if I'm doing 16 hours. Fuck that. But I should have done it. I should just put the difference and then got it first class and went. Would have been a nice experience. I'm a NAS. I know it. Whatever. Next time. I want to expose a little secret. Um, Mark, is it true? This is what I've heard. I heard that when you fly, you like to take your hat off, get all sweaty, and then sit in the seat on the airplane and get the creepiest look on your face and then spread your arms and make your body wider so that people are intimidated that they don't sit next to you. Is that he true farts. or false? Every time. He Every farts. Time. Didn't you say you fart a lot? I'll, if I got gas, I'll try to fart. I'll take my hat off. I'll sweat. I'll look like a fucking fat pig. So that way when that person walks up and looks at the seat and then they look at me, they're like, oh, I'm not sitting next to him. And 80% of the time, I have an extra seat open next to me. The whole plane is filled, but I got that one open seat. You should try it. It works. Do you ever have people like complain to the stewardesses that there's a creepy guy and they're next to their seat and they can't fit in there? Not once yet, anyways. No. But it works every time. If you fly Southwest, mm. try it. Um, the movie you were looking for is Better Off Dead. Yep. I just texted Angela, told her to look for it. I love that movie. Yep. Didn't know the name of it. Um, speaking of donations, um, I, I, historically, if you've been a member of the vape community for a while, when stuff happens that impacts people, we like to step up to the plate and show support. Um, we got a, I woke up this morning to some information that, um, one of our fellow reviewers and, uh, that guy just donated five bucks. Mark has to pay for two seats. Hashtag very noble. <laughs> you suck it. Um, but anyway, so I, there was a message on YouTube, and you can check it out. Uh, Vaping with Vic from the UK uh, had a break-in at his office where he does. Now, he's an independent reviewer that does this for a living. His sole um, source of income is from his videos and from what he does on with vape-related content on YouTube. And he lost everything. Like, he lost his cameras. He lost his computer. He lost his mods that he was about to review i mean we're talking thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars of 
the, the actual hardware, but also the content, like all of his pre-recorded videos, all of his editing software, all of his just years of work have been stolen from him because there was a break in. Now, I'm not going to speculate about the who, what, where and all that kind of stuff. All I know is that when somebody ha- like I was talking to Mike and Mark and it's devastating, absolutely devastating. Well, what would you guys do if something like that happened? I'd be I would devastated. Cry. Yeah. Go ahead. Right. No, go ahead. Um, I would cry and I don't know what I would do. I honestly, I don't even think I could start over because building all this stuff up like takes you just can't do it in like a week or a month like no matter how much money you have it takes a long time to build up your stuff and it just oh my god yeah Dude, everything so bad. everything takes time uh i mean before the show i was showing them i was showing uh mark and uh brian like stuff that i'm planning on doing like with my up and close like a lot of that stuff takes time parts stuff that i purchased so i could do uh some arms and stuff i want to test stuff off the ceiling but anyway Stuff takes time to do, and I could imagine if someone came down here and did something like that to me. I don't mods. I don't give a shit. It's the equipment, taking all the equipment and all that, I'd be fucking devastated. Yeah. That, oh that's man, true. forget it. I don't know. That's you'd be. Uh, yeah, I don't know about you saying you would probably give up, Mark. I know I wouldn't. I, uh, I just like starting. The journey over again with all the equipment and oh yeah what are you gonna do that's far you know but uh the community came together and uh he did get a lot of donations i think he got more than enough money to get himself all of his equipment you know and that's what's great about the vaping community everybody joined up together and uh participated and gave a donation into him so that's cool that was awesome yeah well that's what that's what i was going to talk about like so if you guys are interested in helping out, has he reached a certain level of what he needed? Or I, I think he has. I think he was saying that there's more than enough money. I think so. I okay. could be wrong. Uh, I know I saw, I think I saw, uh, what's his name in chat, Empire Vape. I don't know if he's still watching. Not sure. He would know. But uh, yeah, I, I'm not 100% sure if they got it. But I think from what I heard, there was enough. Okay. You know? But besides the money, like if you just hand somebody cash, what's your time worth? Because this is going to take him hundreds of hours yeah. of oh, hard work. Oh, he also had insurance, so he's going to get some money from insurance too. Oh, that's good. Then he had insurance, good. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he had to be pretty excited because I know he had like a new studio now, or he dedicated. Um, all- it said no insurance. He said he had insurance on the computer, and that was it. Okay, so at least the computer is insured. Camera gear and all that, he's got more than enough money from the donations. From what I heard, he's, he got a few thousand and two or three thousand donations. I think I could be wrong. Maybe someone can confirm in chat. I'm not sure. But anyway, right now in the UK, it's like what, 4 30 in the morning? So I'm not sure who's watching that's in the UK. Well, I'll do this right now. So if anybody wants to support Vic, uh, here's a little link to his uh, PayPal. You guys can look at the It's Victor first at gmail.com. And that's his PayPal. So if you want to show him some love and support and leave a little note to him to kind of lighten up his spirits, because I'm sure that this has to be absolutely devastating for him. Um, and we just, you know, the vape team wants to send our love and support and just say how sorry we are about what happened. But it's going to be all right. And whatever his needs are, all he has to do is just send a message and we're there immediately. Whoa. Yeah. What if there's sexual needs? Th- then we're gonna send you. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're the stand-in for any kind of physical. Yeah, does. I mean, hopefully he gets he gets back on his feet and maybe he'll come back like even better than before. I mean, I know me, I'd be depressed for at least a month. No matter how much money I'd have, I'd be fucking. I'd be fucking. Um, well, he got a two thousand dollar camera. Huh? Yep. Wow. That's- and not only that, like just things like placement and lighting and distances and software and settings on your software, the live software, the cables, the fucking, I mean, there's just so much that goes into getting things the way you want them to. And he spent years to get everything the way he had it. Yeah. And it was really looking great. So it's yep. just, it's like getting punched in the gut, man, or a liver shot. You know what I mean? All camera costs all together with lenses and stuff was like six grand. Okay. All right. God damn. Yeah, yeah, it's fucking, it's fucked up. Like I said, I just after I heard that, I just sat back and just looked around and thought about it. Me, I was like, wow, if this happened to me, fuck. oh my god, I couldn't imagine. 
I mean, just I've had my car broken into before, and just that, like being violated like that by a stranger, it feels like shit to begin with. But like having your how like your your workplace entered by somebody and taken all your shit. And he, I know he mentioned earlier that he felt like it might have been somebody that knows about vape devices. So maybe even somebody you know. Yeah. Like that kind of shit just messes with your head, man. Someone followed him. Someone found out where he lived or something and followed him. I guess who knows. Dude, I'd love to get my fucking hands on that bitch. I would love it. Oh my god, I would just take so much fucking rage out on that piece of shit. That's that is horrible. Unbelievable, man. Yeah, people are saying to donate with super chats up. Just donate straight to his PayPal because YouTube takes thirty percent. I should have done that. I did a donation during when they were live. Then I realized I should have never done that. I should have just donate straight to his PayPal. He would have got all the money. Yeah, I donated this morning. Uh, when first thing when I woke up, I donated to PayPal directly. Um, but yeah, I have no problem. Whatever he needs, all he has to do is reach out. Yep. And, yep. and we're here. We'll, we'll come up with the money. We'll come up with whatever fundraiser, whatever he needs. Yep. We'll fucking figure it out. We got his back. So, but what a pain in the ass that is. That would suck, man. Yeah, I'll take out that Eagles lost rage on him. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I was so fucked up on Sunday when we lost. Uh, I, I sometimes take certain things too seriously. And it's just a game. But when you've been a fan for your whole life, Mike, you know how it feels. The Giants are terrible. Well, you got to understand something. Uh, the way you act, I'm not like that. Dude, you think they were devastated? They're sitting back, ah, we got paid anyway. Don't matter. They're I don't know. If they're true. Money. And nope. they got their rings last year. They don't give a shit. Yeah. But uh, as a fan, I don't get devastated like that. No. Nah. I'm upset, yeah, but not to where I can't function. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's not me. Well, it's not like I took off work on Monday. I just didn't feel like going on Mark's show and getting fucking ragdolled by everybody in chat because people <laughs> love torturing me. That was the only reason. I knew it was going to be brutal if I did. Mm -hmm. When that phone call came in, I'm like, here we go. I really was sitting in a dark room, though. <laughs> just trying to relax. Yeah. Shit. Um. So anyway, yeah, uh... As far as Vic goes, we'll keep you guys posted on future shows if there's anything else that's needed. And uh, Mike can keep drinking that fucking Kool-Aid that's in that Giants cup right there. Drink that Kool-Aid. And by the way, I'm waiting for Mark in three, two, one. Mark's going to make a comment about football. Go ahead, Mark. <coughs> Drink that Kool-Aid. Thank you. And Mark likes to think that if you get excited about a sports team, he, he thinks that unless you play for the team, you shouldn't be excited. <laughs> Dude, people exactly. cry, they start fights, they threaten people, they they get too fucking crazy over this shit. It's a fucking, it's a game. You watch a game on TV, you have fun, that's it, it's over. They lost, no big deal. They act like they own the team, right, Mark? Yes. Brian, don't don't, don't feed into him, Mike, you <laughs> son of a bitch. Oh, we didn't win this, or we didn't do this, or like, we didn't throw the ball like this, fuck you. Like, yeah, but it's so much more than that. It's not about just the game. It's about the coming together. Like, I have a friend that I've known since middle school, and every single game we watch together, we have a bond. There's like a, a fucking, you know, it's a ritual, right? But it's more about socializing and having, like, you wouldn't know about that. Like, you get together with people you care about, Mark, in the real world. I used to, like, I would, I used to like sports, basketball, back when the Bulls were good. I think it was like 95 or so. And I still never got into sports to where I would, like, cry or be in a bad mood because they lost. I never got that deep into it. Like, I don't see how people can get that deep in the shit. Uh, Chris Buzver Cotolio, Mike, the Giants suck. Go Pats, baby, $2. Uh, go Pats? Don't get me started. We beat you guys twice. All I can say is... Twice, baby. But, like, when it comes to the sport, like, if, as far as Eagles, like, when my grandmother passed away, like, she was buried in an Eagles jersey. Like, it was, like, in my family, it actually was a huge deal. And, like, we've loved the Eagles since I was born, since I fucking took my first breath. So, like, these kind of things have meaning to certain people. And it's more about family, and it's more about friends and, you know, having a meal together and, and rooting I for something. I can understand that, that, but affecting your, I don't know. Like, ST the other, like, a week or so ago, he said something like, Oh, if so and so loses, I'm gonna be in a bad mood during the show. It's like this is fucking football. Like, I don't know. I, I just I'm not that into sports to understand it. I guess I'm more. You, you get upset. 
Think of it this way. If your favorite breastfeeding competition, <laughs> like the person that you vote for, <laughs> rooting for, lost, you'd be devastated, right? I I mean, I don't know. Okay, so Mark, let, let me ask you this. What do you, what do you get passionate and upset about? Not very much. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I get passionate about nude women, pussy, food, sleeping. Like if someone fucks with my bed, I get fucking man, I have a bad day. Bob Shorky, five dollars. Nobody would break into Mark's house. Everything of value is in the trash. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Better off fucking digging through my trash than coming to my house. Okay? Yeah, they're gonna break into the trash can. <laughs> yep. Well, there you go. So the 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 pathway to Mark's heart is through the toilet and the uh, kitchen. I have a bad day. If I gotta take a mean shit and I run in the bathroom and there's piss on the seat, that's my day's fucked. The entire day is gone. Because I knew my kid pissed all over the seat, and I gotta take a shit so bad I don't have time to wipe it off, so I gotta sit in the piss. There you go. Interruption of his buffet. He gets upset. He does. So maybe if you actually like sat down with Marcus and watched a, the Bears game and shared a moment and something in common with him, right, like sports... Maybe that would build a bond so he could talk to you about why he pisses on the seat and you could bring it up and deal with it instead of just screaming. Well, he does share moments with the son, you know, when he's playing Fortnite and he's in this room. And he screams at him. You shut up in there! That is a moment. (laughs) It's a moment they have. Luckily, he's not into watching sports. He likes playing them, but he doesn't like watching them. Thank God. Do you think that Marcus cares when you don't wipe correctly and you actually smell like Dookie walking around the house when he has friends over? You haven't smelled him. He smells probably just as bad as I do. <laughs> okay. So this whole house, actually. Angela, her gas is way worse than mine. Wow. You heard it here, folks. Mark exposing house. his family members. Oh, Angela's going to come in there right now with a dildo and smack you across the head. Yep. When we deserve all, it. Like a certain food and the whole house has gas. Dude, it's, uh, it smells like death throughout the house. It is disgusting. I can't even sleep in the house. That's how bad it smells. My uh, my bird, whose name is Bird, um, he's been really struggling for the past month and a half. We've been getting some our kitchen redone, and there's been a lot of dust in the air, so we've had him in like one of the side rooms. So today, I wake up because I've been sick. So when I got home from work, I decided I was going to take a nap so I could get some rest before the show tonight. And I wake up and I go into the bathroom. The door shut, the lights off, and I open the door, and there's Bird just sitting in there, <laughs> like, what the fuck, right? So I took him out so I could take a deuce. Bird. Yep. Masturbating bird. He's got some serious problems. I got five. I could tell he's feeling better because the house is finished up, so he's actually back to masturbating again. He makes specific sounds when he does it. I remember years ago when you used to do reviews. Uh, yep. When you had bird in one of your videos. Yep. Did you? Yep. Yeah. Which video was it? Do you know? Oh, it's Agent. It's from yeah. years ago when he used to do the video. Yeah, it was an old, old video. I had bird on my shoulder in the video. That'd be pretty sweet. Was yeah. Bert shitting and masturbating all over you? Yep. <laughs> I'm basically like a fucking scat film. All, all he does is like shit on me and then come. I love it. Yep. Great. I'm sure Barry's, she's in the chat right now. She probably knows what kind of disorder that the bird has unless it's natural. She's oh, here like we go. Expert. Ricky Mahoney. Ricky Mahoney. Your house smells like shit, yet you have no bugs? Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. There's that one bug in my house. Thank you very much. It doesn't smell like shit 24 hours a day. Only when we have, like, maybe. Dude, it smells so bad in there, the bugs stay away. <laughs> Pizza night or chili night. Do you have a sewer, Mark, or is it, like, septic? We have a sewer. You do? No roaches, no ants. The only bugs are the ones that are found in bottles of e-juice. That's it. Here we go. So, Mark, I, I'll bring this up. I don't care. Do you feel like that was the right way to handle that situation? Yeah, I mean, anyone else I think that had a bottle of juice that had a bug in it would freak out and take a photo. I mean, everyone says you should have contacted the company first. Well, I did after I posted the photo, but I, I, everyone, I mean, some people think I shouldn't have showed the photo. Other people said, yeah, you should have showed it. I believe I should have took the photo and showed it. I mean, the company handled the handled it the right way. They were all cool about it. They were good about it. You know, no problems there. But I think I handled it the right way. 
Yeah. I didn't like talk bad about the company. I didn't say don't ever buy their juice. I never said nothing like that. I was just kind of heartbroken because it was a company that I always promoted and to find that happen. And I know it's not their fault, but something I had to show, you know, what do you think, Mike? Do I have to talk about this again? Oh, have we talked about it already? Oh, yeah, while well, you were crying for your fil- for your <laughs> oh, Okay, so I missed this conversation. I'm yeah, sorry. All right, well, forget I, it I then. Did say, I did say, me personally, if the bottle was a brand new unopened bottle and I saw it in there, uh, that's a different story than say, yeah, you know what? You're showing everybody they got fucking bug problem. But the bottle was opened and it was noticed a few days later, I think, or a day later, whatever it was. Then it's like, you know what? Sh- Maybe you never know. I don't know. You don't know. Maybe it wasn't in there. Maybe it went in there somehow. I don't know. But I would contact the company and tell them I found the bug in there. I don't know. It's it's a fucked up situation. But yeah. I, by the way, I'm not pointing fingers at you, Mark. You're you're in, you're capable no, know, and entitled to say anything does, you want. Yeah. Exactly. Cloud Chem is such a premium company. I mean, their prices are high. It just goes to show that it can happen with any company. And I guess just look at your bottles of juice. When you buy your juice, just give it a quick glance because you never know. Yeah, exactly. Also, if you go on, I'm, I'm not condoning having bugs in anything, but I think that, it, you know, it's almost impossible to not have that happen at all, ever. Yeah. I mean, I think it's almost impossible. No, if you go I outside in the comment. summertime and sit on your on your Walmart furniture in the backyard, Mark, that little area you built, it, just breathing, you're going to get bugs to go in your mouth. And if that was, like, if it was summertime and I was outside with a bottle of juice... Who knows? That might even have happened, but you know that wasn't even the case. But I mean, I just did that just because uh, a I was pissed, disappointed, and ble- and b I just believe a lot of people should be aware that it can happen to any bottle of juice. Yeah. You know the messed up part is too a lot of juices, almost all of them that you buy, you can't really see inside these bottles unless you you got to really try and look because of the labels being in the way, you know, to inspect them. So it's a little hard on some bottles. Yep. They handled it well, you know. They didn't. Yeah. By the way, I don't think hiding anything is a good idea. I think that you know, letting stuff be known, it's just. Mm, I don't know. I know. I know. Everyone, trust me. I there was a lot of comments that were really against what I did, which is hey, it is what it is. And that's the thing I always talk about when it comes to e-liquid. Like, I I understand that we're vaporizing this liquid and it's going into our lungs. But if you think about like when you cook food like you're cooking it and there's there's smoke and everything that goes into your lungs also when you're cooking it on the grill in the kitchen or whatever and um the regulations that protect food from the fda you should see what's allowed at certain levels in your food uh if you go to like a denny's during like lunch during saturday uh look at the sweaty fuck that has the hair net on that's you know not holding the hair that's falling out into your food uh just today i ordered lunch and there was an eyelash in my food uh, the silverware that you use, it, you think that that fucking $10 an hour guy that washes dishes in the back is following proper protocol every single time to use everything exactly right when he's rushed and people are waiting for silverware in the restaurant and you're putting that metal shit that's been in 50,000 people's mouths into your mouth, yet you're oh, going to yeah. bitch about, you know, I mean. Uh, I totally yeah. agree. Yep. Uh, off so. topic real quick. Yes. Hashtag McNasty. Why does he say vaping Fagan? See you, bro. Tired of getting timed out. I did not time you out for anything. I don't even know what you're talking about. I haven't timed anybody out tonight uh, at got, all. I saw he got timed out by uh, wrenches and shot. I guess he was uh, something he wrote that was something about bloody something. I guess he got timed out for that. I don't, I don't time anybody out. That's not my job here, so. Like yeah, by the way, thank you to the wrenches that do monitor chat. And sometimes if somebody sees something and they don't understand the context, they might just flag you all of a sudden. They're not going to ban you. They're going to time you out. So if you get timed out, just realize they might have read it a certain way. But don't get your feelings hurt. They're just doing their best to try to keep chat as healthy as possible with all the jokes that we have and, you know, that kind of stuff. So I barely have content for the show. Do you think I actually put the effort into right clicking on your name and timing you out? No, I don't care what you guys say. They should know that by now. I love trolling. Yeah. I don't know if you can or not. Oh, man. Hopefully he didn't leave. Uh, Mike, a lot of people were asking, how is the king holding up? Great. Uh, you guys can check out my review I put up today. There you it's go. On my channel for the Falcon King. 
I show you guys all the colors. I do a whole bunch of tests. You guys could uh, hear my thoughts. Yeah, I should. I can't wait to get that. I'm really excited about that tank. Yep. I put a lot of time and effort into that video. Check it out, peeps. There you go. The king, baby. Oh, yeah. By the way, uh, happy oh. birthday to uh, Vaping with Ken. Yes, happy birthday, yes. Ken. Yes, big shout out to uh, Ken. Happy birthday to you, my friend. Yep. Steve also that. made an appearance in the Falcon video. Oh, shit. So he might be real. Uh, we have an agenda, and I, I, the first thing on the agenda is uh, "Happy Birthday, Vaping with Ken." So did you just add that? No, I did not. I, I got a feeling he just added that. So to start off the agenda this evening, we have uh, check out "Hit That Juice" for all your vaping needs. I guess Mike pays Amy Relish or sends her bumper. I think he pays her with bumpers. <laughs> is that true, Mike? I clean oh. my room, dude. And when I moved the bed, there was like 50 bumpers like stuck on the side of the bed. It's unbelievable. She that just that com. What can I say? Uh, Mark, have you ever used a bumper as a cock ring? They're actually too big. Badly <laughs> enough. It's like a hula hoop on a little kid. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, can um, I answer one question? You uh, sure can. Asking, Mike Vapes saw the Orion Q panels interchangeable. No. They're, they got like a double-sided tape on them. They are interchangeable. You got to repeal them off and get yourself a new tape, you know, for it. So anyway, go ahead. Sorry. Um, that's an interesting thing. Mess Harry said, "Mess Harry, Mess yeah, Harry." I've seen that too. Yeah, he said, "Have sub ohm tanks really gotten that good? And have they sort of displaced or replaced RTAs on the market?" And um, you guys can take that. I have an opinion too. Go ahead. Uh. Have they gotten that good? Yeah, they yeah, have gotten that good. Have. It's not really the tank itself, it's the coil, the mesh coil. We talked about this a lot, how when a lot of the mesh stuff were coming out, remember how those RDAs, the ones that Vandy Vape made and Digi Flavor made that other mesh RDA, you were afraid to use it. And then mesh came out for the sub tank and we were thinking the same way, like we were afraid to vape it. But uh, dude, mesh coils in the sub tank performed awesome it's oh you're almost getting that rta vape from it do i think it's going to replace rtas now nope yeah the flavor is so much better now and like compared to regular coils like a lot of regular coils sometimes you get like hot spots or you get a bad coil like with mesh coils i don't know i've experienced i get like much better coils and i do the percentage of bad coils to good coils like i have not got one bad coil yet yeah. A person that, that knows how to build is not going to go out and buy coils. Yes. They're going to use that same coil, set of coils they got in their RTA. They're going to take care of them. They're going to clean them. They're going to re-wick it, and it's brand new again. And what did it cost them? It costed them the cotton that they put in there and their little time to clean it. Yeah. Where you're going to pay $5 for a coil head every time. So it's the sub ohm tanks are good for the people that don't want to build. Yep. People that have no interest in doing none of that, this is what they like. They like replacing the coil. They don't care what it costs them. It's cheaper than what it was for cigarettes in their eyes. You know? so, well, if people want to... Help, don't, it's not even about the money, too. Well, that's what it is. There's a, there's a huge segment of the vaping population that the, the money's not an issue. They want to have a consistent, flavorful, amazing vape experience, and they're willing to buy 20 packs of coils and keep them stocked in their cabinet and just change them like they would, you know, fucking an oil filter on their car, yeah. you know? So I think there's a market for it, definitely. I mean, obviously, they sell, like, hotcakes. Well, they sell, well, sub ohm tanks sell as the the best-selling thing. sub ohm tanks and pod systems are the number one sellers right now. Yep. I don't think there's as, as big a community around it because it's it sort of takes care of itself, and there's n not real much user error when it comes to using them. Mm -hmm. So you're not going to go to find a community to get help for something. Um so as far as our, our group, like the vape team and stuff like that, there's a lot of people in here that I see that use sub tanks and love it. There's some people that hate it. There's some people that are in between. I do agree, though, that back in the day when we started vaping, there was a significant difference in the vape experience you got from a sub ohm tank or even like a non sub ohm tank with a replacement coil and an RTA or an RDA. There was a huge yeah. difference. So it motivated all of us to sort of learn how to put coils in and how to strum and how to wick and all that kind of stuff. It's a different Plus, market now. You know, another reason for me is like convenience. Like when I wake up in the morning and I go somewhere, 
and I don't have time to rewick or something, I can grab a sub-ohm tank, and I know it's going to taste good, and, you know, I don't have to fucking deal with it. Yeah. yeah ever since the mesh coils came out, I can tell you guys, Mark has been more a sub-ohm tank user. Yeah. Loves the mesh coils. Big time. I mean, and for me, just sitting around, like, even during the show now, I've been, the majority of the time, I've been vaping on the Falcon game. I've been vaping. It fucking vapes good. Uh, it looks like Chest Hair Millionaire, $2. He said, Mike, my drip tips from melting any tips, not a noble. Huh? I don't know what that means. Mike, my drip tips from melting any tips. I guess he, my drip tips are melting any tips, not a noble hashtag. Oh, uh, when you're lighting it with the lighter, just keep it a little bit farther away. <laughs> you can actually shape it that way. Yes. Yep. If you're melting drip tips, you got to be running one hot ass fucking build. Yep. Yep. Uh, we were we were talking about before the show started when we were sitting in here. We were talking about <clears throat> like new people that are quitting smoking that find a pod system or get a jewel or something like that, mm -hmm. or they get a sub ohm tank or a setup like that. Like, would you if if today you quit and you got one of those types of devices, would you have ever wanted to learn how to build an RDA or get into that? I think. If I had like a nine to five job and I didn't have time to, you know, get into the hobby side of it, I probably wouldn't even get into the rebuilding side. But if I like, you know, have no life, I have spare time on my hands and I'm looking to get into a hobby, then I probably would get into the rebuilding side of it. Yeah. Uh, question, excuse me, question in chat. John Cap says, why don't I talk about the GOAT RDA? Uh, yeah, if you could, like watch the other shows, other vape team shows and stuff. We already talked about the Gold RDA plenty of times, a lot, actually. So yeah, can't talk yeah. about it every show. Sorry, brother. But I will have a video for it very, very soon. One of the other things is if, like, I love nice, juicy hamburgers. They're fucking delicious, right? I also love a nice filet or a New York strip. When it comes to vaping, like, during my day, I, I love picking up a mech mod, an unregulated mech mod with an RDA that I drip into. I love picking up. A squonk device with a single coil. I like a dual coil RDA. I like a sub tank. I like my pod systems. So it's sort of like, you know, people that are like into micro brews and you get all different types of beer and some people like a little scotch or a little whiskey depending on the event or maybe wine with an Italian dinner. Vaping's got so much diversity and complexity that it keeps you excited and it keeps you into it and involved. So I think that's an awesome thing. There's not one and done for, for a lot of, lot of us out here that enjoy vaping. But I'll just ask, what's an RTA? Um, Stephen, Stephen Garlington, ten dollars. Mike, my my green rebirth turned pink. Have you have similar problems? <laughs> Trolling right now. Like, oh, okay. Stephen, I'm gonna get you. <laughs> an RTA, if it's if it's a serious question, is just a rebuildable tank. You can make your own coils for it. Yep. Just think of a sub ohm tank, but instead of it being that coil that you purchase that's ready to go. You make your own coil, you install it, and you put your own cotton through it. There's lots of reviews. Just do a search on YouTube for RTAs, so this way you can familiarize yourself. But I got a feeling he's trolling. Look, a, a good example, my friend across the street, I got him into vaping. He's been vaping for years now. And I keep telling him, he complains about sub-ohm coils, but I keep telling him, learn how to rebuild. But he works so much, he doesn't have the time to spend to worry about rebuilding. So he continues to use sub-ohm tanks. Like, that's all he uses are sub-ohm tanks, nothing else. Yep. So I also yep. think it has a lot, a lot to do with time. And things also change over time. Like, Amy used to love a sub-ohm tank with one specific coil, one specific e-liquid. And over time, she started trying different things. And her tastes have changed, her airflow preferences. My airflow preferences went from tighter when I started to real wide open and huge and then they went back to tight again and it's like it's it's like a, an ebb and flow depending on the season depending on what's coming out on the market what i'm vaping the most of uh, i think that the, the way our human brain is is that whatever we do regularly we get acclimated to it and it just becomes a standard way for us to do things you know it's sort of like dieting like when you eat a little bit of food and you don't eat a lot your stomach shrinks and you get used to it and then when you start eating a lot your stomach expands so i think vaping preferences can change just just like that it's like Mark with dick. You know, he likes little dicks. He likes big dicks. He likes everything. Dude, I just now noticed. Oh, wait, that was a reflection. Holy That's, shit. That is true, actually. People are saying in chat, Mark did say he had a friend. I do have one friend. One. Fr 
Well, I used to have a ton of friends, but then when I stopped <laughs> drinking, it all went down to just one friend. But yes, What's I your one friend, one real friend. Do you pick him up from the bus stop when he gets home from school? Uh, yes. Does he watch the live show? He might. I'm not sure. Does it, and he vapes, right? Yep. Wave, Mike. Hi, Mark's friend. What's his name? Mark's friend. Hi, Mark's friend. Shout out to you. <laughs> All right, we got an agenda. Agenda! What, don't you have a, like, a little intro for the agenda now? I should. I should have an Amy Relish intro for the agenda. Uh, shout out to Anthony Defoe. Happy birthday. Special happy birthday from the vape team to you, Carl Stellmacher. Happy birthday to you. Stellmacher. Also, happy birthday to Michelle Cap. It's your birthday, and we care about you and wish you the happiest of birthdays. It's your birthday. Um... Uh, this is a, from a Pats fan. The, the, this is from the, uh, the Cap family. Uh, they sent this picture of the Patriots. This is them on the couch. Whoa. <laughs> you can see <laughs> in between them. <laughs> nice. <laughs> so, folks, if you want to spice up the sex life in your marriage, get a TVC sexy, what is that, a pillow? And there you go. Turns, turns you on. Look how close they are. Right there. I'm the glue that holds relationships together. Um, we do have some giveaways tonight. And uh, speaking of giveaways, yeah, I think it's that time. We're going to run out of time, so let's do... I'm going to wait till Shameless Chad plug? No. How about this? Yes, the vape team, live giveaways. Oh, we have a giveaway little thing now? So hopefully you have donated to Mark to get in, entered into the giveaway because obviously uh, he controls this and I, I think it's for pay. Don't say they, they believe it. Okay, it's not. This it. is a legitimate giveaway. All you have to do is press X1 in chat and you'll be entered into the giveaway during the live show. But you got to watch one. it live. If Just you one. X1 more than once, you're disqualified disqualified more than one x1 you, you can't win just one x1 now uh leo barry just did an x4 and that gives him four chances to win no <laughs> <laughs> don't say that they believe it okay don't do x4 everybody all right so what are we giving away tonight well we're going to be giving away a couple different things and these giveaways are going to be going through amy relish coo at gmail.com Okay, so if you win, you need to send an email to Amy Relish COO at gmail.com with in the subject line of the email, you need to put what you won. All right, so whatever it is that you won, you need to put that there. And then in the, con in, in the, in the body of the email, you need to put your name, your address, your telephone number, and obviously not your email address because you're sending an email. Uh, you also need a picture ID. You need to be of legal vaping age wherever you live. If you win the Element Vape giveaway for elementvape.com, and I'll, I'll announce which one oh from God, there. Shut so the weird. fuck up, Mark! You're confusing me! That's because you're fucking doing something on the side! What's happening? I, I'm going to put him in timeout, Mark. Mike. I have to. I can't deal <laughs> you with might that. Have to I put me in timeout, too, because I got confused as fuck on that one. Okay. A donation. <laughs> donation. $100 Canadian. For Brian, catch up with Mike soon. There you go, for Brian. All I've said so far is exactly point by point what they have to do. If you donation, win... hold up, donation. <laughs> Sergeant, no whammy, no whammy, no whammy. Stop. Drop your donations now, folks, please. Right when Brian's trying to fucking spell all this. You know, out. I don't really care if we do giveaways anymore. <laughs> I really, I, I could give a fuck. I love you guys in chat. I appreciate you. I love the show, but I just can't deal with this anymore. I'm done. Triggered. Hashtag triggered. I'm done. I'm going to nick salt myself. And guys, make sure. From Leo Barry. Oh, 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 oh. What do we have to do if we win? What do we have to do if we win, Brian? Hashtag triggered. You definitely got to pick your color because if you don't pick your color, you're not yeah. getting anything. Somebody just said I'm drunk in chat. I'm not drunk. I'm sick. Okay? I'm sick. What's in that cup that you've been slugging all night long? Which cup? The coffee. coffee. It was coffee. Oh, that's coffee? Freaking coffee. You said it was vodka earlier, but all right. I'm hot and bothered now. Pay attention, Mark. Thank you, Tyler, for that 4.99. Tyler Rose. That's a that's a real nice name. 
All right, you got the chat pulled up, Mark? I'm <coughs> Brian's fucking around over here. All right, we're going to do number uh, 190. I 190. haven't. Zero. What do they got to do, though? I was trying to say that you have to live in the United States if you win the Element Vape giveaway. Why, though? Element Vape you doesn't. You know why, Mark, because you do the same thing. I know, but there might be somebody out there who really loves the show that lives in the UK and they're kind of hurt. Their feelings might be hurt. I think they deserve an explanation. They don't do out of the country uh, shipping. Hello. There we go. Perfect. All I'm right. gonna have I'm gonna have Mike handle Mark now on from now on. I can't <laughs> first, deal with that anymore. First giveaway, Brian. All right, the first giveaway from ElementVape.com for all your vaping needs. If you want e-liquid, if you want coils, if you want sub ohm tanks, if you want fucking mods, if you want juice. ElementVape.com has it, and they are generous enough to give away, number one, the Wake Modco Bigfoot 200-watt TC starter kit. Oh, this is a badass mod. It's a badass mod from Wake Modco, the Bigfoot 200 TC starter kit from ElementVape.com. You can pick it up there. They have it. So that's the first giveaway. Pick a winner, Mark. Pick number 190. 190. 190. Thank you, here we go, folks. One, nine, zero. We have a winner of nobody. I think I need to come. I feel a lot of like build up. A lot of build up. Here we go. One nine. Where's bird. <laughs> we should du dueling masturbation with bird. Nobody. Do it again. <sighs> One ninety. We got a winner. It is. Get ready, folks. Marcus Fagan. Beer. Me. Beer is in the beer you drink. B E E or B E E R M E. Beer me. Beer me. All right, beer me. You need to contact Amy Relish COO, COO at gmail.com. In the title, you need to put Wake Modco Bigfoot 200 Watt TC Starter Kit. You don't have to wow, do it. That's just a long like subject that. line. <laughs> you could just put Bigfoot Waiter Element Vape or something like that. Yeah. Uh, Bob Ellis, $5. Can I get it in black? No, but you can go into timeout. How about that? Oh, shit. I wouldn't stand for that. Yeah. If you may, if you donate it at all during the show, Bob Ellis, refund your donations. Are we doing one giveaway for Element? Uh, no, we have two. Two altogether, right? Yep. Are you taking text messages now or what? No, I, I'm ready. If you would oh, shut the, the next fuck up. Away, I'm going to give it to you. Digi Thank flavor. You. Edge. Give it to I'm, I'm going to fucking give it to you, Mike, and you're going to, mm, you son of you Greek son of a bitch with those dark eyes and that fucking beard. <sighs> All, right. All right, Digi Flavor, Edge. Mike, have you ever been to, into edging, Mike? You sound like you're on the edge right now. <laughs> I feel like I'm on the edge. Dude, what movie was that with the edging? Was... You ever God. do dual edging where you edge to the edge with each other, like you're both on the edge of a cliff and you're like, who's going to oh, go farther out? Oh, you know what it was? I was watching that show on Netflix, uh, Orange is the New Black. They're in edging. And uh, what's the girl's boyfriend or fiance, whatever he was, he was like doing a, a piece on, he's a journalist or something, or on edging. But anyway, go ahead. The edge, yes. All right, so we're giving away the Digi Flavor Edge 200 watt starter kit, courtesy of ElementVape.com, and Mark is going to pick a number, no, 190 again. Let's do one. Let's do the show number every week for every giveaway. How about that? New season of Stranger Things coming soon, folks. Thanks, Mark. I don't know what the fuck that has to do with the giveaway <laughs> from Element Vape. We're doing seriously doing 190 again? Yes. Wow. What about the people that are like? What about go ahead and pick the number? Here we go. 190. Since Brian's racist about other numbers. Uh, How is that a race? Up. Is the number a nope. race? Buddy. No, what? Nobody. Nobody? You know why there's nobody, right? Why? Because we only have 153 thumbs up and 745 watching. We should have at least, before we announce any winners, I think before we continue any giveaways, we should get at least another, I think we need at least 400 thumbs up. All right, let's go. Let's go. Don't announce anything. Come yeah. on, guys. Forget giveaways. I'm tired of it. Thumbs up one time. I'm sure. always curious. Because... Are you watching the show and not subscribed? I see you out there. You've been watching every week. <laughs> like yeah, you. Videos you don't everywhere. subscribe. With thousands of views, and they only have like a few hundred likes. Do people forget to hit the thumbs up? Is that what it is? I'm, I'm assuming they forget to hit the thumbs up. Maybe they watch because they don't like it. Maybe well, they watch us because we're who they don't want to be. They, you know? I would be happy with a thumbs down than no thumbs. 
I'd be happy if you stopped interrupting me when I'm doing the giveaways. Oh, look at that. Saying. We're about to hit 300 thumbs up. Come on. We're almost there. Come there we on. go. Come and on, you guys. Be forgetful. You guys could do it. I know you could do it. Uh, if we hit 500 thumbs up, I will tell the story tonight about the shit I took. And it is a fucked oh, up story. You guys, dude, get 500 thumbs up. This is a great story. It's shit stories fire. with Mark Fagan. Shit stories. Are we doing a... Uh, do it yet or no? Uh, if we get the thumbs up going. Well, we haven't hit 400 yet. We're almost there. Uh, That's right, dripped out, Nick. Meet the meet the requirements for giveaways. Six more thumbs up for 400, and then another hundred after that. If you guys want to hear the awesome story by Mark, it's a pretty disgusting story. So if you're not into like shitty, if you're not into shit stories, all right. Don't. We could do the giveaway. Let them all thumbs up. All right, here we go. I have a feeling that a lot of people watching the show are fecal freaks. Yes. Are we doing 190? Little brown boys out there. Are yeah, we doing do 190? Yeah, 190 again. Right, here we go. Fecal freaks. The big 190. We got a winner. Do we have a winner? We don't have a winner. We got a 189 and a 191, but I guess Brian only cares about 190. So I only care about 190, so pick 190. 190, 190. Oh. We got a 189, 191. No you don't one have that. to explain it. Just keep clicking until it hits. I'm going to explain it every single time. No, I don't want you to. Holy shit, we got a 190. That's because the payment Noah just went through. Cantrell. C-A-N-T-R-E-L-L. Any relation Noah to... Cantrell. <laughs> Any relation to who, Bark? I forgot his name. Snuffleupagus? Snuffleupagus, there you go. There you go. All right, so that's the giveaway for that. Now, the next giveaway is anywhere in the world. This is a global fucking giveaway. So wherever you live, you could live in North Korea. Wow. And work, you could work at the Nada factory. Tiger Tech might not be there anymore because they closed the doors. But now, can you ship packages from America to North Korea? Do they allow that? We're not shipping from America. Can you ship from China to North Korea? I'm going to sneeze. Hold on. Does uh, Kim Jong Un allow that, or whatever his name is? <coughs> Bless you. Excuse Young me. Thank Fu you. Two. Oh, Mark. donation from Barry Hot. Twenty-five dollar donation. She writes, "I love Mark's shit stories." We there all do, go. Barry. If you want to hear shit stories, folks, we need fifty more thumbs up, or actually fifty-one. Nobody has better shit stories than a piece of shit. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, so the giveaway. What are we giving away? We're giving away two. Two topside duels. Are you serious? Yep. I think we need to get another 50 uh, thumbs up to give those away. The beautiful 200 watt powerhouse of a fucking squonker, the topside duel. If you don't have one or if you haven't heard of it, well, I don't know what the fuck you're doing because it's taking the fucking vape world by storm. And we're giving away two of them to two lucky people out there. I do a new list every time. I see the comment out there about new list, Mark. I do a new list every time. So keep your pants on. Keep your pants on. Yeah, we definitely need more thumbs up. We're going to give, the, give that away. Yep. Uh, house. Let's get them likes up. How we doing, Mike? Where are we at? 456. 456. Let's get to 500. How about a thumbs up the booty? If we don't get to 500, I'm not going to do the, the duel giveaway. What if some people don't want to hear the shit story? Then they're going to bail as soon as you're done picking the winner for the topside duels. All right, 500 for the topside duel, 550 if you want to hear the shit story. <laughs> some people may not want to hear it. It's it's oh, kind of donation from Philip Lucky, Australia. What's up, guys, from Sydney, running late? And, yes, Mark, that is Australia. It looks Asian to me, but all right. Asian. The Asian dollar, Mark. The Asian dollar is a mighty fine dollar. Oh, we're up to 471. Going slow for people that I guess. Come on, guys, you could do it. I think there's some people out there that think that Mark really does rig the giveaways, but it's not. This is a legit giveaway. We really do randomize it and pick. Yep. If I could share screen, I would. 27 more likes. 27 more. We're almost there. 26. Dude, I have such a fucking sore throat and headache. It's ridiculous. Oh, you poor baby. What do you have? I have a fucking sore throat and a headache. Thanks. It must be rough sitting on your ass all day being sick. What are you looking in the fucking mirror at yourself? <laughs> you have a fucking ass cushion because you sit on your ass so much. It's like a gel cushion. Are you? 
I actually do have a gel. I know you do. Holy Jesus. Wow. Oh, what, what the fuck? Dude, it fucking smells weird, too. It smells like a fucking one of those fleshlights. I had a gel cushion. Because I know you're the you have the kind of ass that needs a gel cushion. Oh, shit. Wow, that's creepy. Yeah. You can look through my windows? Yeah. Come on, nine more people. Nine more thumbs up. Let's do it. Nine more and we can do this giveaway. Nine, 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 nine. Almost there. We got people in chat that got to take a shit, so they said hurry it up. Five more. Five more. Oh, now it's back to the four. So, oh, someone took away their like for this one. Yeah, people are thumbs downing just to, <laughs> thank you. to get it. Uh, Do they get to pick their color on the top sides? <laughs> <laughs> All right, we just hit 506. There you go. See, it wasn't that hard. You know what, Mike? Maybe they would like... To have a specific color, and I'm, I aim to please. So yes, they can pick their colors. They can spray the top paint side. it after they get it. There you go. All right, so pick Finally. a winner, Mark. Go ahead, one ninety. One ninety. Since Brian wants to use the same number the whole show, which is kind of not fair because it's completely uh, fair. Doesn't feel fair. We got a winner. Um, Alban, A L B A N. I'm not going to say that what that sounds like, but Alban, congratulations. Luckily, we ship all over the globe. All right. Well, so, how do you know he's from all over the globe? I just have that feeling. Uh, Gregory hey. Brown wants to chime in. He said, uh, Gregory Brown, $2. Do we get to choose the color of Mark's fecal story? Ooh. There's only one color I shit out, and that's red. So. Yep. <laughs> it's uh, a... Mark, what? <laughs> Mark, question. What country do you think he, Alban's from? Uh,. It's really sandy and dry, so, you know, desert-like. Okay, go ahead. Uh, like, you know, like... Do you know any country? Like a Pakistani area or something? Hmm. Oh, that's part of Mexico, right? Yes, of course. The city of Mexico. Good. Okay. <laughs> Yo, it's funny, in chat they just said he's from Pakistan. There you go. Someone said Albanian. Dude, maybe Mark is fucking right all along, and we've just been thinking he's full of shit. I'm yeah. a genius. Maybe Mark Mexico is, is north of Chicago. Mark is Rain Man. One, two, three, four. All right. Pick it. Pick Next it. Number? Same number again? Are we? Oh, we're doing another top side. Same number? Yeah, 190. 190. Here we go. Keep your pants on, folks, because Brian doesn't care nothing about low numbers. He only cares about the high numbers. We got a winner. Uh, oh, shit. George. This sounds a little bit of Polish, but uh, Koufakis? K-O-U-F-A-K-I-S? That's Greek. Greek? Is, yes. Polish. I mean, you know. I think it's Greek. Pretty sure it is. K-O-U-F-A-K-I-S, George. Congratulations. He's a, he's a Polish Greek. Polish Greek, Polish there Greek. you go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Are you Polish Greek, Mike? Uh, only on the weekends. Yes. Thank you. I can only imagine how mad these people must get when I call them, like, you know, Polish or... I don't like, think they get mad at you. They feel bad for you. They're probably screaming at the screen, I'm not a fucking... Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, anyway, if you guys won one of the Topside Duels, congratulations. If you didn't, you can go to elementvape.com and pick yourself up one. Also, my Vapro has them. Ele uh, Vapor DNA has them. My Vapor Store has them. Um, or, but you need to contact amyrelishco at gmail.com if you won with the title Topside Duel Winner. Name, address, telephone number, and that's it with a picture ID. Emailed to amyrelishcoo at gmail.com. Oh, Thank you, Amy good. Relish. Since they're sending photocopies of their ID, what kind of uh, – how do you delete the email? Like, does you have a secure system that this information goes into so they don't have to worry about, like, identity theft or anything? Shit story, please. <laughs> Are we at 5.50? We're at that time. No, we're at, we need 32 more if you guys want the Mark Fagan uh, shit story. Yeah, All right, guys. Go. <laughs> I'm, gonna kick, done? I'm gonna kick back and just let this happen. <sighs> Congratulations, to all the winners. 
Tonight's show is sponsored by Adidas Shirts, Adidas Shorts, ah, oh, yeah, and Adidas, oh, wait, these are my Adidas underwear, never mind. Those are, ooh, look at that fucking, look at Dude, that. it looks like you could fold that over your dick and fuck it. I probably could fuck that. It's not as big as Ronnie Cash's is, but it's pretty deep. 29 more. No, 27. Yeah, I don't think people want this one. Nope, they don't want the story. 27 miles. They all can say it involves two toilets. <laughs> A double stuffer? Come on, guys. Thumbs up. I want to hear the story. I can't bulk with this Adidas shirt. Are you, are you crazy? Mark, does the shelf booty run in your family? Actually, no, it doesn't. Because you got uh, you got a shelf, bro. You could take it. Thank you. You could probably take it standing up in like a subway or something. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you there, Dino Safakios. Fakios? Fakos. Hey, Brian, when will you see your vape layer? We have seen Mike's and Mark's. Um, I'd have to show you in the safe because it's basically just like a big safe down here now. <laughs> so uh I don't know if I could do that. Uh, I'm probably gonna do another vape layer video very soon. People enjoy that stuff. Mm -hmm. I will yeah. tell you this that I, I definitely have a lot of stuff that I don't use. <laughs> That's all I can say. Like Mark, I have actually go ahead, go ahead, Ryan. Yo, go ahead. You got two donations too after you done. We do Mark read the donations. I like when you Mike, read. Mike, I asked a question about the rebirth earlier. This is me re asking the same question again for no reason. Hashtag true noble tea. Nobil nobility, Mark. Uh, nobility. nobility. Stefan Garlington, five dollars. Thank you, sir. And uh one more time, Philip Lucky, Mark Clean, your brown eye, your seat won't smell. Actually, my seat smells pretty good right now. Go ahead. Dude, I bet you Mark's seat smells like uh, like one of those rubber dildos that's been in an asshole. Ugh. It's like that plastic shit smell. It smells like old onions. <laughs> old uh, onions and hoagies, like Italian hoagies. Oh. Stefan, you should have asked the question. Yeah. I asked oh, a question. Second. If you guys want to see a cool video, watch Mark's video he put up today. Mark actually does like a vape layer thingy. There you he, go. He shows the process of the review. Of uh, how he does his reviews while reviewing a product. Yeah, it was really cool. It was fun to do, too. Yep. Pretty fun. Yep, yep. Where 536 we have. We have oh, damn, only 14 thumbs up we need now, huh? 14 more. We can hear the shit story. It's not bad. We, know, we could save it for next week, maybe. <laughs> Somebody said that there's a diving board behind me like a DuckTales. <laughs> <laughs> I remember <Yeah>. DuckTales. <laughs> awesome cartoon. <laughs> uh, oh, 13 more. All right, I'll just tell the shit story. There we go. So usually when I have to take a shit, it's pretty like, it happens pretty quick. Like I'll be sitting there, everything feels fine, and then it just comes on and I have to take a shit quick. So I ran, we have two bathrooms. I ran to my bathroom. Did you really run? Well, I, it's right next to me, so I don't have to run. Yeah, there you go. Go ahead. Uh, okay. And... I took a shit and it was one of those where it's like a two-parter, but the first shit was so massive that when I flushed it, you always wait to hear that where it goes down. Well, I didn't hear that. And I'm like, oh shit, another one's coming and it's fucking clogged up. <laughs> so I had the choice of either flushing it again, hoping that it would eventually crack and it would go down and I could let the other one out, or I can run to the second bathroom take a shit in that bathroom while the other shit is floating in my bathroom and i didn't think i would make it because it was coming quick so i grabbed the plunger i flipped it over and i cracked the shit in half with the end of the plunger and then i flushed it and then i made it enough time to finish the other half of the shit and my asshole still hurts from the shit i took earlier it was all peanuts like i actually heard it crack when i took the stick and cracked it was it like peanut butter i ate like a fucking a whole pound of cashews this past week, so it was like cracking a peanut. <laughs> it was. <laughs> I think it like a bad. handful of cat. Like you, you should have a limit, like one handful of cashews, not like a, a tub of cashews at once. I try to have a limit. Yeah. But yeah, it was pretty bad. So let me ask you this: after you, because we know exactly what happened when you plunged your shit. 
I threw the plunger out, so. So let me ask you this. Where did you throw it out? Did you carry the oh, shitty plunger? I, I went plunger? outside. <laughs> so you held it in the air dripping with water through the house and then. I put a, a shopping bag over it and I threw it out. So you left the plunger sitting in the shitty toilet water, went to the kitchen, grabbed the plastic bag, came back. I actually put it in my sink because I had <laughs> shit after that. I knew there was a fucked up part of this. So I you put the like shitty that. plunger in your sink. Yes. Oh, God. You took that, put it in the plastic bag. Oh, Did it, you clean the sink after? My shit is pretty hard, and it doesn't stick. So there wasn't really no like sticky shit stains on the plunger. But I know there was shit still on it, but there wasn't anything noticeable. But when I was done, I grabbed the plunger. I actually put it in the neighbor's garbage can because I didn't want that in my garbage. And I came back and I cleaned up. <laughs> What's in the neighbor's garbage? Yeah. He put it in the garbage of the lady that he stole the wigs from. <laughs> actually, I put it in the garbage of the neighbor that no longer lives there. So, Well, you heard it here, folks. The shittiest vape stories on YouTube on the vape team. And uh, Thursday night is once again completed. 190. Yeah. It's an old dog, which is Mark. But he's up to new tricks like cutting shit with plungers. Yes. There you Don't go. eat a lot of peanuts, man. I'll tell you that. I had a really tough time picking the thumbnail for this week. I've been holding on to that, <laughs> that picture for a while. That's courtesy of Angela Fagan, by the way. Um, I had a couple different ones. The, the original picture, this was going to be the the one thumbnail. <laughs> That's actually after I had my surgery in my eye. <laughs> <laughs> and this is before they did the reconstruction around Mark's eyes when they just straightened them. So there you go. I think, I don't know, I think Mike's uh, pussy liquor is a little bit better than that. <laughs> there you go. But that was the one option. The second one was us watching him. Oh, Lord have mercy. Oh, that's a good picture there. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I struggled. But then I was like, you know, this is kind of like, like vape mat quality, you know? <laughs> it's kind of crazy and artistic. So maybe, maybe next week I'll use the other two. Yeah. So. Like some fucking predator or something. Yeah, I can never decide. I always make multiple thumbnails, so I always have backup for future shows. Sorry, you cross-eyed son of a bitch. Thanks for the entertainment, as always, Mark. Thank you for your beauty, your excellence, your skill, your thoughtfulness, and your tongue, Mike. Was that a donation? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for your Polish heritage, too, from the Greek islands. I think that's it. Are we done? Yeah, we're done. Done. All right, guys. Thank you. Nothing but love. We will see you. Same vape time, same vape channel next Thursday night. The vape team. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. 20 minute outro begins now. Maybe that you ended up getting the 550, huh? Oh, you, <laughs> you nasty motherfuckers. I guess they wanted to hear the shit story first. I hope <laughs> people don't eat when they're watching the show. I hope not either. Somebody's eating cashews and choking on the couch right now. <laughs> <laughs> show and tell vapes next week. Galisi, Galisi. Galisi, bro. Yo, I woke up this morning, I got up out of bed, I put on my Galisi, and then I went in the bathroom and I took a shit into my Galisi. Another show bites the dust. Another one bites the dust. Yeah. And another one.